untransparent, undemocratic institutions, that those institutions are in turn not being made public themselves. Um, and so, so should we have a facilitator for this group? Yeah, uh, well, well, yeah. This young student, oh, okay, I'm just reading these out. Yeah, this is what was established oh, okay. through the public okay, assembly sorry. yesterday, which a lot of people missed, so I just thought we would just go through the basics yeah. first. Right, right. Quickly. The fourth one, alongside Occupy LSX, we're here also to support, uh, discuss, and um, uh, spread the word about the, the national strike on November the 30th, the student strike on November the 9th, and any other actions which are there to defend healthcare, the NHS, welfare, and anything to do with the abolishment of war. And employment. Thank you. And the fifth point, very simple. Uh, we will need a restructure and distribution of natural resources. So these resources are going to by, are controlled by the people, going towards the people, <laughs> and not controlled by, mili by by the military, for the military, or for corporate profits by the, by the corporates. Okay, so those are the five points. I think we can build on. We, we can, and well, we, I think we should build on those. But I think maybe we could wider the discussion to, to discuss how we could achieve these goals. Maybe. Okay. Uh, if people want to discuss how people are clear and are happy with those, how can we make this a reality? Think not that I'm come to destroy the law or the prophets. I'm not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. In this moment we have in them. We have a voice for this movement. In Spain they say we don't need a political party. I say we need a political party with different rules, not the rules that the political parties have now. This party means there will be a spokesperson who will give the voice of the majority, not their own opinion. We need to construct a party to change the demands, to get the demands we have. But the demands of the party we will create. If you give the demand to the establishment, to the system, the system is not going to get changed by itself. We have to be the system, the new system, to change things. That's the first thing I think we should do. Create a party which is going to defend the opinions of the majority. Through not cheating people, I've earned some money. My money is in a bank, and we've already possibly seen on YouTube a woman being arrested for removing her money from Citibank, and this is happening in the States now. People are choosing as a political action to remove money if you're lucky enough to have it. But where does it go? What I'd like to see is an international profit-free bank, perhaps with some of it funding a world action to facilitate what we're doing, as well as safely investing it ethically. Yes. Now, uh, it's a very difficult, problematic, minefield-ridden area, but it's a, it's a worry to people who have money and, and object to having it invested by unethical banks. Okay, you want to speak. Yes, forgive me. Thank you for letting me talk. Are we not focusing on the sort of statement we're producing? Is that what we're meant to be doing? We are yes, the and just working through the through the comments and, and the how. Like how okay. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you, the bank is a great idea. There are some banks out there, the Cooperative Bank or Reliance Bank, which are great banks that are ethical trading banks. I agree with your idea that a political party is a good idea, but we need to focus on achievable objectives now. And looking at the five ones that you mentioned, you talked about not repaying a bank's uh, crisis, and you said we've already done that. Have we thought about you know, an achievable step, although not a great step, would be to potentially support the Robin Hood tax, which is the tax on bankers' trades. And that would be something achievable, and it's something we can really focus on now, while also working on the big picture or international. Yes, that's a, I think that would cause quite a lot of effect. I don't understand. 
And that's the one thing you really terrified of. Far more than being ignored here. We're being ignored here. The media ignore us here. And to be listened to, to do something that I'm talking about, it has real power. Because it hurts them. They can't play with our money. If I may uh, also have an opinion, uh, even though I'm a facilitator, I also do have an opinion. This is my opinion, for what it's worth. I believe the only way, uh, demands are useful, but they're only useful in as far as they mobilise people. So we consider, we say we're the 99%, and I think we are the 99%, but where are the 99%? 99% aren't here. They're everywhere. And we've got to think, well, if we are the 99 how do we mobilise them? And it's not that the are a thing in themselves, but they may be useful in way to, to get people out the streets to fight for something. Because when people are fighting for something, they also change their idea of what is possible. People's horizons are uh, raised. Or well, maybe we've got to try and raise people's horizons about what is possible. Uh, every, each one of these discussion circles will, will report back to the plenary of the discussion so that we have a kind of idea of directionally the, 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 the argument is going uh, in terms of uh, you know, do we rent, do we have demands or sort of demands or sort of goals? I think uh, we attempt to try and change this system. It will either take decades, there will be suffering, there will be something that we really don't want. So instead of trying to attempt to change something, I think all we should really try and do is actually live in our own way, separate, or maybe within, but with our own network. The sphere of influence that we have in that is completely separate from, say, the IMF going to some country on the other side of the world, you know, changing their systems from by lending them money and then making demands. And that's, that's going to have no effect on it at all. It's not like we can do this and pretend that what has happened now happened because we all voluntarily did this. It happened because people made it happen. Because people who profited made it happen. And we can all happily ignore that, or we can try and challenge that and fight it. And it's two things that are not separate. Bringing down the IMF and building alternatives is not a separate thing. They, ne they necessarily have to go together. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. <laughs>